Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Today, I'm going to teach you about a highly capable multimedia note taking app called Joplin, which stands out amongst the other options available to us. First of all, Joplin is open source and free. It's also in very active development by a community of developers, including a very dedicated lead developer. Joplin is cross platform, it runs on Mac OS iOS, iPadOS, Windows, Android, Linux, and even from the terminal if you're that nerdy. Unlike many open source projects, Joplin is also beautiful. It is rare in the open source community, and Joplin stands out amongst the best. Now, another standout feature of Joplin is that for the privacy-minded, you have complete flexibility on the service through which you sync your notes with end-to-end -end encryption. You can choose from the usual suspects like Dropbox, OneDrive, AWS, and Nextcloud. If you're more technically minded, you can sync through OwnCloud, which you can run on your own server. You can also subscribe to Joplin Cloud, which does have a fee, but it'll give you collaboration features if that's a feature you need for your business. Joplin also has an open plugin architecture, so you can extend the capabilities even further. When you first launch Joplin on the Mac, you're going to see this fairly familiar looking four pane layout. The left column contains our notebooks and sub notebooks. Below that, you'll be able to see the tags you've created. At the bottom of that column, you can see the word synchronize. That's what you'll press to set up your synchronization service and you can force a synchronization with the same button. The second column is where you'll see the notes within a chosen notebook. At the top of that column, you can see there's a search window and you also have icons to create to-dos and notes. Now the last column is split in two, and that's to give you two different views at the same time. The left of these two views is where you'll actually do your writing in Markdown, and I'm gonna get into a little bit of detail of how Markdown works in a moment. On the right pane, you can see the rendered version, and it looks very pretty. It has embedded images, and you can see links and bold, and all the other formatting options that you've chosen to add over in the Markdown pane. Let's start by creating a notebook. I'm just gonna use the plus button right here and I'll give it a name. And you can see it's parallel to the welcome notebook that we got that has the instructions to learn how to use Joplin. Now, if I wanna create a sub notebook, I can do it in several different ways. I can go up to file and say new sub notebook and we'll put that as sub notebook. Or I could stay clicked on this one and I could right click and I could say new notebook and it will automatically make it a sub notebook because I had a notebook selected. A third way I can do it is starting at all notes. I'll tap this plus button again and I'll create another notebook. And I can simply drag this up on top of the notebook that I want it to be a sub notebook to and let go. And now it's embedded inside that notebook. So I can toggle this to show my sub notebooks. If at a later date I decide I don't want that to be a sub notebook, I can simply drag it up to the top level and it goes back up to the upper level. So there's three different ways to create your sub notebooks. I ran an experiment to see how many sub notebooks I could create and I got bored at about 10 sub notebooks. I think I'll get rid of sub notebook three by right clicking and choosing delete. You'll notice that all notes and sub notebooks within that notebook will also be deleted. Joplin does not have the concept of a recycle bin, so I would suggest that you remove any notes from your notebooks before you delete them to ensure that they're not permanently deleted when you get rid of a notebook. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if 
you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.